What's up everyone, this is CyberNut, and today I'm going to open up a bunch of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadows and Valhalla packs that I found at Walmart. They were all on sale, like uh, on clearance basically, as you guys can tell from the sticker. I think they ended up making them like $2 each, or, or something like that, and I saw a bunch of them, and I picked them all up. So, basically they were all in this cardboard, but to save some time for the video, of course, I, I took all of them out of it, except for one, to kind of show you guys what they were in. So, be sure to check out your local Walmart, not sponsored, anything like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, this set is getting a lot more hype lately because it has a lot of good reprints for the Invoke, especially Invocation. So, I know that has drastically gone up, gone up in price. I'm kind of thinking Invokes will get reprints, though, at some point, too, so I don't know if you should just spend a lot of money trying to hunt them down. I wonder if they could be, like, in the set for March. No idea. But, at the time of recording, nothing's been announced for them yet, so I'm hoping to maybe get some Invoked cards and uh, maybe even Ash Blossom, because it is my channel and there's always a hunt for that just because. Because our revenge for uh, the Legendary Collection Kaiba. Anyway, let's get to it. And also, too, if you want to support my channel, check out my TCG Player link. I will have a link to uh, Shadows and Valhalla, so you guys can check out the prices of these cards as we're going through them. And, uh, yeah, if you spend any money on there or you use my code CYBERNOT, it helps support my channel. It doesn't even have to be like this set or even Yu-Gi-Oh! If you plan on spending money there, I would really appreciate using my link or the code CYBERNOT. Because, again, it helps me out, and I greatly appreciate that. Oh, Bistius, that's pretty good. The Valkyries. And then starting off, we have Alter uh, Entity uh, Narla. It's one of the cooler ones, I would say, even though he is insanely creepy looking. <laughs> so that we finally got those. Oh, here we go. Neospatian Glow Moss. And if I remember right, Ash Blossom was usually behind Glow Moss. So is it going to be this way? Nope. Okay, not this time. It is uh, Ninjutsu Art Super Transformation. Goddess, one of those. Ninjas. And then a forbidden uh, trap. He destroyed. I don't know. How you say that one. That's a that's a weird word. So <laughs> there you go. One of the cards that goes with the entities and all that. That was one too. I remember I had bad luck getting back in the day when that this set first came out. So okay, white dragon ninja. Another one of the goddesses. Apex Avion. Mermel Abyss lead. And then a uh, Ride of the Valkyries. I think that's supposed to be pretty tough to get. So, yeah, I think we already did pretty well. There you go. Remember trying to hunt down this one, too. I think it was tough to get. But, yeah, remember, too, Invocation and the Evoke cards are not that easy to get from this set, either, obviously. Since one of the reasons they're so pricey. They might have got reprinted, but they were pretty short printed. So, I hope we're going to at least get one. Let's see, Golden Bamboo Sword. Another Goddess card. Strike Ninja. Ninjutsu Art, and then Shadal Fusion. This card obviously has gotten a little bit of hype now because you can get a secret Shadal Fusion. A lot of people are playing Shadals now, so there you go. <laughs> that is another one that is really good to get from this. I mean, pretty obvious, right? I'm just glad this set's starting to get a little bit more hype again. Because after all the reprints for Ash Blossom, not many people try to get this set anymore. Omega Summon. More Valkyries. Uh, Trinity. That's good. Mermel Bislead, and then Alistair the Invoker. Again, I mean, it's one of the Invoker cards. It's not as pricey, but it's a secret version of Alistair. So a lot of people want it. So that is still really good to get. Again, Invocation's the one that's just, like, last time I checked, it was like $50 each. It could be more, it could be less at the time of this video. I have no idea. We all know Yu-Gi-Oh cards can be like the stock market and change overnight. So just throwing that out there. Let's see, Advanced Dark. Fortune Chariot, Chaos Neos, Abyss Megalo, and then another Shadal Fusion. I'll take that. I know boxes of this set are pretty tough to get. That's why I was thinking, hey, see some of these packs cheap. Might be worth it. Another Valkyrie, Fortune Chariot, Hanzo, Red Dragon Ninja, and then we have a Hidden Village of Ninjutsu Arts. This card's pretty cool. It's a field spell for the ninja cards. I always thought it was neat looking. It, it's pretty artwork, but it's a shame that the ninjas never really did anything at all. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm kind of bummed out by that. I was hoping the new sport would really help them out. They were good around, what was it, Order of Chaos, and that was about it. So, we saw we saw Hanzo a lot then, and we'll speak of the devil. There you go, there's Hanzo. Another goddess, Omega Summon, and Valkyrie. And then we have a Gym Knight Seraphonite. Another good card from this set. I don't think it's pricey because of, yeah, <laughs> the different bands that we've seen on Gym Knight cards. But always a good one to save for later, for sure. One of their best fusions. 
Another Hanzo, okay. <laughs> Red Dragon. Then, Omega, man, we're getting a lot of those. I think that's supposed to be short printed too. That's not really the Invoke card I'm looking for though. And, well, okay, I'll take that one. That makes it better. We got the Link Monster. Oh man, that is awesome. I think I've only gotten like one of this card before out of the several boxes and packs I've opened up. Well, there we go. We got Alistair the Invoker of Madness. Yeah, the Link Monster has gotten a little bit of hype. It's always been, you know, like around $30 or something like that too. It's still not as high as like Invocation, but it is a very good Link Monster. It's one that I kind of think will also get reprinted at some point soon, and it is one you see in uh, quite a few different decks. So... Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a good one to get for sure. Like I said, I've had weird luck getting this one too. And also, he's not as hyped up too because I think in most decks, they only run one at him, whereas in Vocation, you need three. So that helps out too with his price. Either way, though, I'll definitely take one. That is That might pay for my packs. I'm not really sure or close to it. So that makes me feel better about how much I spent at least. <laughs> See, Abyss Lead, Valkyrie, Glomos, and then... Man, we're just not getting that Ash Blossom. <laughs> Ninjutsu Art. And then uh, another one of Forbidden Trappa. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i not even going to try. That's not a real word. <laughs> Glow Moss. And there's Ash Blossom. Okay. I knew that used to be the thing. Like, I, when I open up these packs, that it would always be... A uh, Glomoss, then Ash Blossom. And I was thinking, well, I, these packs are making a liar out of me. Uh, well, there we go. It worked this time, at least. Then we got one of Makaba. One that's gone up a little bit. Not as much as Invocation, but still good, of course. And Golden Bamboo Sword. You know what? We'll still set these aside. They're definitely worth setting aside. And then Seraphonite. At least we got Makaba. Not another one of Omega Summon. Again, I think that's supposed to be short printed, but it's definitely not the one of the three you want. <laughs> it was, wasn't that tough to get back then. Oh, Glomoss, then... Ah, it did it again. It's like, hey, we'll give you, we'll do it once, and that's it. Twilight Ninja. And then uh, Yellow Dragon Ninja this time. Different secret rare. I feel like I don't need to name up all these cards over and over. So a few of them I'm going to skip since we've named over a couple times, okay? Magic Planter. Then uh, Magma Neus, Akashic Magician. Invocation. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That that pays for my packs, I'm sure, right there. If not, that and the Link Monster will do it. So that is awesome and uh, definitely a card you want to get from this. Seriously, if you have some of these, like you put them back or whatever, check through your cards, sell them while this is going on because I kind of do think this is going to get reprinted. I, I feel that way. And then, of course, another one of the one I don't know how to say. So <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I'm at least glad we got an Invocation. That's pretty much worth it right there. That's worth the hunt, I guess. I would say go ahead and sell them if you have them, especially on the super rare. Now, if you have the secret or even the ultimate rare and you just really like the cards, I, I would probably consider keeping those, especially the ultimate rares. Unless you just really don't care. Then I can understand you not wanting to sell them. But if you got the supers, it's probably time. Anyway, I got some of the Nijitsu cards. Flare Scarab, Fortune Chariot, and then also Nijitsu Art uh, Mirage Transformation. Although, too, I hope I don't come off as, like, telling you guys what to do, by the way. I'm just giving you some advice, I guess. Not financial advice, because I'm terrible at that. There you go, disclaimer. Urgent Ritual Art, Magic Planter, Magma Neos, Akashic Magician, and then, here we go, here's one of my favorite cards. We actually got Dragoony Knot Vatriana. I actually kind of forgot that he was in this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I love Dragoonities, you guys know that. I'll definitely take that. I want more Dragoonies support, by the way. I know, we've had a lot lately, but still, I want more. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Mega Summon, Neos this time. Upstart Golden Ninja. Red uh, Dragon Ninja. And then, man, we're getting a few of these. I think it's because I can't say it, and the card, the heart of the cards are laughing at me, right? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Something. They can laugh, though. I've done well, so <laughs> I don't care. All right, last one that's not in the, the cardboard. We'll open that one here in a second, too. Don't worry. This Megalo, Omega Summon, again. <laughs> Neos, Upstart Gold Ninja, and then Yellow Dragon Ninja. I still love the way that card looks, even though he's not really that great. He's still cool. And now this is officially the last pack. Okay. This one, I'm sure, has Invocation and Alistair in it, right? That would be really cool. I wonder if that's ever happened to someone. It's possible. That'd be awesome. Be like one of the best packs you could get ever. Let's see. Well, focus. 
Apex Avion. Then we have uh, Strike Ninja, Valkyrie, Advanced Art. Man, I saw it was a spell card. I was hoping. And then we got Twin Twisters. You know what? That's another good one to end off on. Twin Twisters, always useful. And I think the secret is like $5 or something. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely go with that. It's a, it's a cool looking card. But yeah, there you go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely worth picking up these packs for me. I mean, I was able to get, I think, like the three best cards from the set. You, of course, get um, Invocation, which I still think is funny that it's like a super rare, although super short printed, but it's the most expensive one. So that's definitely worth it. We also got Alistair, which is the Link Monster for them. And then even Ride of the Valkyries, which I believe is like the third most expensive or, or something along those lines, too. So... It was worth it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and all that too. Let me know what the openings you guys would like to see in the future. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.